Hey, I'm Rejected Shotgun. So just a little while ago, Blizzard decided they were gonna pull out a bunch of the free-for-all maps from the game, leaving only the fan favorites in, like Chateau Guillard and Hollywood. So now there's only about five maps that I'm aware of that are in the free-for-all map pool, which is a good thing because some of the maps in there were pretty bad and just not fun to play free-for-all on. Well, that map pool is probably going to be expanding within the next month or two because an employee from Blizzard has confirmed that we're getting a brand new free-for-all map added in there. So today, let's talk about it. That's right, a new map, but not new in the sense that you're probably expecting. I'm not talking about a straight up new Chateau Guillard type map, I'm talking about a new modified map, one of the existing maps being squeezed in as a free for all map, and the map I'm talking about is of course Blizzard World. Blizzard World is the newest map in Overwatch and it does not have a free for all variant yet. However, as somebody named Ampharos on the Overwatch forums pointed out, the second point on Blizzard World is actually a really, really good place for a free-for-all map. And of course, it's not available in-game yet. So he suggested that Blizzard perhaps could add in the second point of Blizzard World as an actual free-for-all map in the free-for-all map pool. So of course, a lot of people were like, yeah, this is a really, really good idea. We would love to see that second point of Blizzard World added in to the free-for-all map pool. And as this actually was a pretty good idea, just objectively, David Adams, who's the principal level designer in Overwatch, perfect for the bill here, said, good idea, we will add it. Not sure which patch though, we'll try and get some time to set it up, thanks. So of course he says they're gonna try and find some time to squeeze in between the maps that they're working on right now to see if they can quickly add it into the game. So this is actually very exciting because we haven't had a change up in the free for all map pool in quite some time, but of course Blizzard World is a great map and that second point has all the features that you need for a free for all map, including high ground, all the popular low ground spots with tons of health packs scattered all around. It wouldn't be too hard to block off the entrances and exits to the other points A and C either, which means this is a perfect arena for a free for all. Everything that is needed in a free for all map pretty much works here in Blizzard World, which is great because not all the maps in Overwatch are actually that good for free for all, which is why in the first place, Blizzard decided that they were going to remove some of the maps from the free for all pool leaving only the five-ish that we have now. If so, if you queue up for free-for-all right now in Overwatch, you'll notice there's a much smaller selection of maps than there used to be because, like I said, not all maps are very good for free-for-all. So luckily, of course, the newest map, Blizzard World, is really, really good for it. So we should be seeing that within the next month or two. When we see posts on the Overwatch forums like this, where the developers are saying, hey, this is a good idea, we'll try to get it in there, you know, it's not gonna take too long. And I really think this is gonna work out pretty easily uh, and it's gonna happen quickly because all that really needs to be done for a free-for-all map is maybe adjust some health packs, add some new spawn points, and block off points A and C. That's pretty much all you need to do to get a free-for-all map working as far as I'm aware. So I would say this is gonna be snuck in probably in the next patch or two, maybe around the time of the next event because that seems to be when Blizzard likes to squeeze in all the brand new content into the game. So do keep your eyes open for that. If you're a free-for-all fan like I am, it'll be nice to have some even more variety into the game. As fun and great as the current free-for-all maps are, everybody loves some new content. So like I said, keep your eyes open for that. That is all for today though, do be sure to like this video, and if you enjoy this content a lot, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out content like this all the time. Thank you for watching though, and I will see you in the next video.